What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. So it is December 19th. It's cold, there's snow on the ground, and I'm cleaning out a storage unit. Now, dig back into the archives. Do you remember August 31st, I bought, what, like seven or eight, nine storage units, you know, something like that. You haven't seen a lot of videos since then. I think there's a part one and part two, nothing since. Well, here's why. Because I haven't touched them yet. One of the reasons I bought so many storage units is just so I would not run out of inventory. I knew I was gonna be hiring someone for eBay and then our other business did not want to run out of inventory. So I just wanted to throw these on the back burner, rent them, and if I need inventory, I've got inventory. Well, I need inventory. So we're gonna clean one of these out. I don't remember what I paid for this. You know what? I've got it saved as a note on my phone. That's how the only reason I knew which unit. I don't even know where these units are anymore. Uh, August 31st, September, October, November. So we're talking three and a half months ago. Three and a half months have gone by. So this one, I paid $455. And this was the very last unit of the day. Remember, there were some guitars in here. We're going to go through it. Hopefully, uh, it's cold out. My phone doesn't like the cold. Hopefully, my battery stays charged. So first thing I'm hoping for is a snow shovel so I can clear this out. We've got some guitars in here. Now these look like school projects, handmade guitars, uh, nothing too special. They look like they are all probably have some sort of issue. Um, looking for a snow shovel. We got a broom. I don't see any snow shovels. Not yet at least. Uh, we got a TV in here. In fact, it might be big enough to take home. I need a bigger TV. Uh, so a microwave, a couple of DVD players. This looks like a pretty nice bedroom set. We've got a dresser. It, it does look like press board, uh, but it looks like decent stuff. Um, the stuff in the drawers, that's always a good sign. Odd that these don't line up here. This drawer might be in the wrong place. It might belong down there, like it's a little bigger. And then the missing drawer, yeah, you can see that one has the, the design, the lines. That definitely goes here. So that's just why it doesn't line up right. We've got a matching headboard to go with it. I assume there's probably a footboard somewhere in there. Uh, looks like we've got another body of a guitar, as well as another one down here. Motorcycle helmet. I have not gone through this unit at all. I don't even think I glanced in it, uh, other than looking at the guitars when I bought it. There's the mirror for the dresser. The bed, I don't know. It looks pretty dirty. Uh, it, sometimes I can list these for like 20 bucks and someone will pick them up, uh, as long as they're not too gross. Let's see what else. Oh, slippery. These floors do not do well when there's a little bit of snow on it. What is this? I don't know. It's heavy. It's pretty solid. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here. Can't really get too far. It looks like we've got glass coffee table and end table. Uh, that might be another. That might be a TV stand or something. Kind of an ugly looking one. Area rug, we've got something, a chair or something down there. There must be a kitchen table set. Those look like some decent looking chairs. Dresser, so a decent amount of furniture in here. There's another piece of furniture there. We got a model truck here. Let's see if I can get to it. Smuckers. So these usually sell pretty well. Looks like some albums, but they were not stored well. Um, this, yeah, that's looks like it used to be a model truck just a cheap one. Oh, it looks like stained glass on that dresser uh what else do we have anything special here i'm not seeing any brands that i recognize to have value um let's see oh good food at least it's winter this stuff will be frozen it's not gonna be gross uh what else do we have i'm excited to look at those records i do really well with records we got a little heater here. You know what, <laughs> if I really wanted to, there's a light socket up there. I bet I could, if I really wanted to, run uh, an electrical cord up to that and run that heater. I wonder if there's a light switch somewhere in here. I don't see one. I can't imagine that's just always left on. Here we go. Oh, we've got an outlet right here. There we go. So as long as they haven't shut off the power to the property, I've got, uh, I could put a heater in here if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but. Oh, uh, what else? We got a headstone with a bloody handprint. You see those in a lot of units. Uh, just kidding. This is a footstool. Let's see if we can get back here. It looks like some press board cabinets. Uh, nothing too special. 
Uh -oh. What is this? Chevy license plate. Looks like a neck for a guitar. So this person looks like he made, he or she made guitars um, as a hobby. Ooh, it's some semi trucks. Sometimes these can be really good. Looks like we got a sofa set, uh, recliner, reclining. That one's got cup holders in the middle. TV stand. Uh, what did I just, oh, that's not important. Oh, nice suitcase, brand new. Look at 224 bucks at Kohl's. Brand new suitcase. Funny part is I'm going through a whole bunch of brand new suitcases on the pallets. I think it'd be okay to walk on this stuff. Let's climb up over here. Motorcycle helmet. Oh, oh, please tell me this is signed. No, I actually have this exact poster autographed. Uh, I think it might be a little bigger, but this is framed nicely. That'll go for some decent money. Looks like mounts for radios and we got a golf bag down here. Ah. Some golf clubs. Let's see what we've got. This is very difficult to do with one hand. Well, let's look at the, uh, the irons don't look too special. The driver is the key here. All right, this is, uh, I don't know a ton about golf clubs but I don't recognize the brand MDX2. Maybe it's worth something, I don't know. Uh, looks like this actually might match the other dresser. Got a little ottoman. Oh, I thought the lid came off of that. There's the footboard for the bed. Uh, just a whole bunch of odds and ends, probably not a lot in these. Your marketing partner, embroider me. I wonder if you work for this company. They've even owned this company. Uh, what else? Let's see if I can climb over here. Oh, what is this? It does not feel empty. Is that all the latches? Eh, looks like it's seen better days. I'll have to look it up, see if the brand's anything special. Uh, we've got, looks like a brand new pair of boxing gloves. This is just, looks like bathroom type stuff. Uh, maybe arts and crafts. Maybe it's his uh, kit that he used for painting guitars or something. Some home decor, odds and ends. I've actually sold these a few times. It's missing the plug. These, I believe, are silver plated, if I remember right. I had one, this exact one, as a kid. Uh, what else do we have? Doesn't look like anything too special there. So, just run of the mill stuff. Some uh, boots, probably not worth anything. But we will look this stuff up. We got a keyboard and stand. A lot of like kitchen stuff. I don't know what's in here. Uh, checks. Amazon box. Oh, that's new. Some a shower curtain, right? Or is that just regular curtains? That looks like a shower curtain, brand new. Oh, crap. Uh, more of this Embroider Me stuff. I think they're a franchise. He might have owned a franchise, or maybe he just worked there. If he just worked there, why would they give you all of that stuff? Looks like he might have some collectibles in here. Uh, some Steins. Oh, that's not a good sign. Uh, there would have been a Coke in here from 2007. It probably just poured out. Well, it doesn't look like it did. Oh, I think this is that cast iron Coca-Cola Clydesdale set, but it is sticky. So that Coke may have poured out into there. So we'll see what the condition looks like in there. Star Wars something or other. Airplane. Ah, we got a Dremel, original price 30 at a pawn shop. That would of course be the used price. Uh, what else? 
I don't know. So we'll dig through this a little bit. What's in these binders? Looks like just personal paperwork. Nothing too special or valuable at least. It's a skill. Uh, I can't pick it up. It doesn't feel heavy enough to have like a saw or anything in it. Maybe a drill. This is very difficult with one hand. Uh, just some toe straps, some padlocks. I don't think there's gonna be anything in there. A lot of people tell me to get a helmet or a hat camera, but um, it'll, you'll get dizzy with me looking around and whatnot. Metal sign. It looks like a sound bar for a TV maybe. Some nail thing. Uh, we got a TV stand where you mount the TV. I think that's a sewing machine. And little metal shelving unit. And you never know what's in these drawers when you're digging through. Got some movies here. Deep Impact. Uh, the Avengers. Uh, that's the National Treasure movie. You never know what's going to end up inside of these or what might be under here. Uh, that looks like all underwear or something. Well, there could be some neat stuff inside of that suitcase. Try not to hurt myself. All right. That's a box for a microwave, but uh, looks like it's probably empty. Uh, we got a guitar stand. What else might be in here? Candle. You can usually find some decent stuff in the dresser. It looks like it's all just clothes. And then in this drawer, <coughs> nothing. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, we got a laptop in here. Let's, uh, Get this stuff out. That might just be personal papers. Well, we got a gift card. I always look these up because it's not uncommon for there to be value. And let me just, that has not been scratched off. So that could be a good sign. So I always do, this is gonna, this stuff is gonna fall on the floor. We got a picture back here. What's down here? Uh, you guys can't really see. I can't get my hand in there, but nothing. Got the keys to his car. Sometimes these keys can actually be worth a little bit on eBay. Uh, if you're wondering what I just cut out, I accidentally did a close-up on one of his bank statements. So, it does not look like there's anything special. It does not look like there's anything special in that box, but here we've got a laptop with the power cord. And I don't see, and I don't see any information on it. Uh, that will tell me how old it is. You computer guys, is that recent or not? Uh, we'll get it plugged in, powered on. It looks like it's in really nice shape uh, when we get back to the warehouse. But it doesn't say, usually my way of telling how old it is is the sticker that says what version of Windows is on it. And this one doesn't have one. Under the battery, maybe? Uh, let's see. No, it doesn't say anything under the battery. What about on the battery? It's not gonna say the version of Windows, but maybe a date. Manufacturer date. Uh, yeah, I don't see any, unless it's a really small type that I can't read. So anyways, that is uh, the laptop. If we can get that working and it's relatively recent, it's probably good for about, I guess I didn't put that on all the way. Probably good for about a hundred bucks. We got a guitar case there, it looks like. So that's what this unit looks like. No uh, snow shovels. You, usually they have snow shovels in them. Oh, I do remember these. There we go. I'm pretty sure these were Harley. Maybe not. No, just biker boots, but nonetheless, I bet I could get something for these. These are uh, 
so as you can't really see it. These are fancy looking. Um, Dingo. The Dingo HL baby. So uh, maybe I can get those on eBay. Get 50 bucks or something for them. This looks like all kitchen stuff, Tupperware and whatnot. Little pans, the knife set. Maybe I can get a few bucks for it. I'll look through it, but I don't expect there to be anything of value in there. That's food. Fruity Pebbles! All right. I think that's about all there is to see here. We've got a jacket. Uh, it's a biker jacket, but I don't see any Harley Davidson on it. On the back, I don't see a tag. It looks like it had a, a removable liner that was removed. It does say size 44, but there's no brand on it. So... Uh, let's see, shell, genuine leather. So it is a leather jacket. No branding. Oh, we got another one right here. Looks like a matching one. But um, I don't think I'll get much for them. That's some kitchen stuff, it looks like. And a power cord for something. Some home decor, an organizer. So that's basically it. Really hoping this works. Why did I say I paid for this? Four fifty-five, I think. Something like that. We got a little uh, leaf, or I'm sorry, a string trimmer. I don't know what this is supposed to be, a shelf or something maybe. Um, I don't think there's much else to show you guys here until I start digging through it. But, you know, this set, headboard, footboard, dresser, and then it's the mirror, and I think that other dresser matched it. I could probably get about 250 bucks for the set. That'll pay for almost, over half of it. If the TV works, I don't know, another 150, 200. Uh, and that'll put me between those two at break even. The couch set, if it's clean, I could probably get. It really depends how it looks. It does look like a newer set. It's with a fancy one with the cup holders in the middle. Maybe I can get two, 300 bucks for it. If it's moldy, then it might go to the dump. Uh, kitchen table set, I did not see a kitchen table, but I do see the chairs. So we'll pretend there's a kitchen table in here somewhere. It's, yeah, it looks like that's the base of it. So the tabletop's probably leaning against the wall somewhere. Kitchen table set, 50 to 100 bucks. That dresser with the stained glass, maybe 50 to 100. Uh, some of this other furniture, um, the records, all the little odds and ends. I think I could probably bring in, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I think I could probably bring in two or 3,000 in this unit. I've done enough of these units to know what I can get on them. Um, you know, we use local auctions um, for a lot of it. We use Facebook Marketplace for only the higher dollar stuff. eBay, of course. I'm seeing collectibles in here. I'd say two or three thousand. I paid four hundred and fifty-five plus another three hundred and fifty, maybe two hundred and fifty to rent it uh, for the past three and a half months. Just depends if they charge me for the first month or not. A lot of this little stuff, like it looks like there's a Packers flag in there. That's three bucks in a local auction. Uh, the two leather jackets, maybe five bucks a piece in a local auction, unless there's something special about them. Even this this junky kitchen stuff, this Tupperware and all of this, you know, I'll probably throw all of it, except for like that will go in the trash. But like this bag, this bag, this bag, all of this stuff, except the pans and the knife block in one lot, and probably get five or ten bucks. The knife block in the pans, maybe five to ten bucks each. Guitars, I'm sure some of you willing to put down 10, 15 bucks a piece for them. Maybe more. That's the beauty of auctions. I don't know what this stuff is going to go for. These guitars could go for five bucks each. Or someone could pay me 30, 50, 100 bucks each. I don't know. That's uh, one of my favorite things about local auctions. Spread, I wanted to look to see what was in this box. Looks like... Uh, used brake drums i'm seeing a lot of bike stuff in here It'd be cool if the motorcycle was in here um i don't know if that's for adult things here, let me zoom, zoom in that's for adult things or pets or something biker related i'm not sure this looks like a smart dvd player is it 4k no well walmart sold it for 73 dollars LG 2D Wi-Fi. Well, it's empty too, by the way. But there is a small one over there. So that's probably there. So, I mean, I could probably get like 10 bucks for this if it's not worth anything on Amazon. 
I will look this up on Amazon. You know what? Let's look it up on Amazon right now. Where's the barcode? Uh, oh, man. All right. We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Look that up. My other phone is in the car, so you're going to have to take my word for it. So it doesn't have an amazing rank. I looked up this. There are a couple of uh, refurbished listings. I didn't even look at those. Probably should have. A new is 100 bucks. Used is, what was it, like 57 or something, and I get 47 after fees. I ranked like 169K. It's not an amazing rank, but worth sending in if I can find the remote. I'm not ordering the remote for it, but if I can find the remote, what's that? Just an alarm clock, it looks like. Oh, an alarm clock with uh, a wireless charger. I'm guessing it's a wireless charger. I suppose it'd be nice to look at the, yeah, wireless dock. Why do I always look at the French side? I don't speak French. All right, that's about all there is to see in here. See another picture down there. The Packers picture, I could probably get 50 bucks for it since it's framed nicely, maybe. Uh, what else do we have? I think that's basically it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pulling this stuff out, get it on the trailer, and uh, I will just let you know if I find anything else interesting in here. All right, got it cleaned up. The broom now looks like the toothbrush of a person with rage issues, but we got it all cleaned up. Now I can get through here more easily. I didn't expect there to be this much snow, but it's on the back where there's a lot of shade throughout the day. That's why it didn't melt. I figured it would look more like that. So another tip, rock salt. I'm out of breath from that. It was really very icy. I was trying to scrape it with the broom. Whew. Anyways, bring yourself rock salt and come in a couple hours before you normally, or before you were planning on going through it, just sprinkle some down. Then you won't have ice. Thankfully, under the snow, there's really not much for ice. The only ice is really right here where the tire tracks are. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But uh, just my tip for the day. And don't assume there's going to be a snow shovel in the unit. Because there always isn't, there isn't always. All right, so the trailer's full. Hopefully this TV doesn't break or that glass. <laughs> it's on there, kind of good. Uh, so I got the entire bedroom set. Uh, there was also an end table for it. Uh, what else? The kitchen table and the four chairs. I had to put part of it in the back of the truck. But it's actually, it's like a pretty nice table. It's got a round top though, which is odd for that. Found a couple other things that I wanted to show you before I threw them in. I got all the instruments out. I got pretty much all the big stuff out. Uh, this is actually not stained glass. It's just a mirror. This stuff in there, that door would close all the way. Uh, this is a pretty nice stand. That door came off. It looks like it just needs to be hooked back in. Not a big deal. Uh, we got a little desk here. Yeah, I haven't even looked in it. Looks like just mail and stuff. I'm not thinking there's anything too exciting. Uh, found another laptop in HP. It has Windows 8 on it, according to the sticker. Um, it was like right on the floor here. I didn't really dig. But uh, it didn't look like there was a power cord. That's just the hair trimmer set. Or charging cord, I should say. That's a really crappy bag. I also found in the top drawer here, PSP. I get about 40 bucks for these if they work, and I do have chargers so I can test it. Is this open without power? That's not the, the open thing. No game in it. A couple of old phones might be worth a couple bucks on eBay. Sometimes they are. Uh, this couch set, it's tough to tell on camera, but it actually looks like a pretty nice one. So as long as there's no mold from sitting in a storage unit, it's a good one. Uh, this is a pretty nice TV stand with a coffee table under it. What else did I find? Oh, I found a PS3 controller, a gold one. No PS3, but you never know. Uh, I wanted to grab those boots yet. But we made some good progress here. We will uh, come back again tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll post this video as it is now because I might not come back for eight months. You never know. We cleared out a lot over here. Uh, most of this looks like junk, just from glancing through the boxes. That's full of CDs. Maybe there's some games in there, and I did not get to that corner yet. What in the world is that? Th oh, that's the sewing table. Right. Um, I did not look at what could be sitting on this couch or underneath all this stuff. Remember, this one had the golf clubs. So, curious to see what else we find in here. But um, I got what I can fit in the trailer, what we're going to try and sell now. And then we'll go from there. 
Um, I'm just gonna grab the boots, that PSP and that laptop, and that too, because I grabbed the instruments. Then we'll shove the rest of this back in, and we'll call it a day. So is that bad? I don't know. That you connected to a network. That so, way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as skip soon as this. Possible. Uh, this laptop, as soon as I unplugged it, plugged it back in, stopped beeping, turned on, and apparently it's Windows 10. Nolan thinks it's a gaming laptop. So Time we'll see. So I looked up the beeps, five beeps, which is what I had. It means real-time clock error or power failure. Uh, when I unplugged it, plugged it back in, turned it on again, it did say there was an issue with the clock. Not sure if that's an easy fix. If restarting it, we'll do it. Right now, it is doing its thing, getting set up. It was factory reset, and the thing looks like it could be brand new. So I'm excited about that. By the way, I'm in Nolan's office right now. That's why you see stuff like this, and this, and that, and that. All right, start it up. Let's find out what this thing has. Let's let it do its thing for a minute, and then we'll find out what this thing has. Uh, yeah, the clock is not correct. Oh, what just happened? I don't know what just happened. Okay. I'm not a computer guy. Nolan's the computer guy, which is why we're in his office. So it looks like we've got a one terabyte hard drive. And how do you get to this now? I think properties. This is a good one, 12 gigabytes of RAM. This is a really good laptop. So today is tomorrow. Yesterday was today. It's the next day. I am heading back to the storage unit to try and get the rest. I have to rush though, because I only have an hour. Oh, 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 oh. Can't open the door. I have like no hands, I'm holding stuff with the other one. A couple of things, the PSP did work, I tested it. I happen to have a cord that cost me a buck according to the price tag, and it works perfectly fine. Number two, this is about to connect to Bluetooth, I think it mess with the audio. So anyways, let's shut that off. Number two, the TV works perfectly fine. Already sold it, 200 bucks. Granted, the contingency is it has to come with a remote. So if the remote is not in the unit, I will order eBay and give it to the person who bought it. However, I looked it up at six bucks, not a big deal. Got 200 bucks for it, it's a 55 inch. That's why I didn't keep it because I have a 55 inch and I need a larger one. So let's go to the unit and see what else we can find. And with time to spare, I didn't really look too much, but filled the trailer. Here's what we're looking at here. There's a little bit of junk on the floor here. Uh, we cleared off the couches. They actually look pretty nice. They should be sellable. Um, this whole back area is emptied out. Some paint spilled and dried up, so I'll have to scrape that off the floor. Then we get this couch. They're a little matted down. I think it's just from having boxes and stuff stacked on top of them. Um, I think you give them a few minutes, they'll fix. This seems odd. I feel like there should be a pad here. And that's just like dust. So these should be sellable. Um, should be good to go. Then coming over here, these two, I don't know if these doors are broken off or if they can go back on. We'll play that by ear. That'll be the decision if we sell them or throw them out. We got this still full of stuff. The TV stand uh, looks like a pretty nice one. Is it solid wood? I'm going to assume so. Um, and then junk on the floor. Most of this looks like it's gonna be trash. And then of course my hand truck and my furniture movers. So that's pretty much it. Oh, we've got that thing too. That should be sellable. Uh, but beyond that, we are loaded up in here between garbage and sellable product. Let's get back to the warehouse and go through it all. So I had a little bit of a mild panic attack. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in there. Maybe here. No, not bright enough. It's a, it's called a st strainer or st Steiner. It's a Steiner violin. Um, with it was these reports here on the Joe Jacob Steiner, dated 1953. Also, this news article, if you want to pause it and read it, basically it says it's an $800,000 violin made in 1676. Minor freak out, and then I looked up the brand. I guess they made the brand much later. Um, why that was in there, I'm not sure. However, uh, based on this paperwork, it's 1953 at least. Uh, and then there's just more of that here. 
uh, paperwork from the American People's Encyclopedia from 1953. So I'd probably say this is at the most recent, at the newest, 1950s. And the old case kind of goes with that. Uh, it does need to be restrung. The bridge has come off, but I believe that's something that can be replaced. I don't know if that's supposed to... It, it needs work is basically what I'm trying to trying to get at. Um, and here's the, the oil and whatnot for the strings. Um, so I'm going to put it in a local auction and we'll, uh, we'll see what it goes for.